Wawa Wiwa. One watching, two watching. See, <clears throat> I've been watching too much Borat lately. And also, I need a haircut and I need to shave. I need to do a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. Three watching. I mean, who knows? Maybe I just grow the hair out. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Mr. Coaster is in. Eight? Are you fucking kidding me? One minute, 33 seconds in. Ten watching. You guys are too good to me. You guys are too good to me. Jesus Christ. I think I just beat Blackie for the record. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to give him shit tonight. I'm going to tell Blackie that at 1 minute 30 seconds on, literally, literally, all the way up to 10, topping it off. Someone's in my garage. Hello, friendly neighbor. What's up? What's up? How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Good. How's it going? That's going. Are you on right now? Yeah, I, I, I can't sleep. I'm not that I should be asleep right now, but I can't sleep. I've been up since uh, about 3.30 in the morning. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Uh, so I went and I bought some mini wines, and, uh, you know, the Fox stream is kind of lagging a little bit. Um, not that I'm, you know, a Republican or a big fan of Fox News or anything, but... Yeah. I like the stream, um, so then I went on to their backup channel, and uh, folks are like, yo, what's going on? And now all of a sudden I have 12 watching, so I'm just going to do, like I said, I'm going to do like 30 minutes. How are you? Awesome. You're looking good. Thanks, buddy. You're looking your, strong, uh, son. How'd, how'd your thing go? How'd my thing what? No, no, I don't care. Every, everybody, I share everything in public. I don't care. Um... So, uh, I get my license back in, uh, 16 weeks. I have to take, um, don't drink and drive courses, which are going to hit me for a hundred bucks a pop, which is fun. And then the next step after that, I'll do that. <laughs> you know? Um, and aside from that, um, then I just have to focus on, on getting a vehicle I retrieved, uh, my mom helped me out with that. I've never done all the, uh, the you gotta fill out forms, you gotta, you know, yeah. it's just a mess. Um, but that will pay me, which was a good wage. Yeah. That I won't say over the internet, or to you. That's and uh, yeah, and uh, so then I just gotta get through this period. I gotta clean the fuck out of my room and uh, just try to make an attitude. That's all I can do. Yeah. It's all I can do. I think you're right. You know? Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> well, I'm glad you're getting your license back. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah, um, I, I, I paid, <laughs> you know, that's, that's why I paid what I paid for my lawyer to do. Mm -hmm. And he was very, very good. He was friends with all the DAs and all that shit. Sure. And, uh, you know, they go in private counsel and he's like, look, it's a good guy. He made a mistake. So, uh, you know, we're going to get, uh, all I care about is no one was hurt. All I care about is no one was hurt. Absolutely. So that's that's the fucking deal. It's awesome. We're glad it worked out. Well, it, as best as it could. Right. <laughs> I like your shoes, man. Thanks. What, are you going boating? I... <laughs> now I gotta go paint the garage. Very nice. Yeah. That's what you want to be doing with your Sunday, right? I think so. Well, I gotta do some spring cleaning, too, so let me know if you, uh, you want to hang out. I will. All right, dude. You're on this week. What time are you back? Take care of yourself. Um, I don't know. It might be tonight. It could be tomorrow after work. Cool, you got my number, just hit me up. Oh well. All right, rock and roll, man. Thank okay. you, dude. That's my friend who will remain uh, unnamed and off camera. 17 watching, four likes. It's gonna get loud a bit, folks. Hold on a second, just hold on a second. Hey, am I in your way, man? Can you vertical out? Okay, very nice. All right, man. Most important, drive safe. <laughs> All right, thanks. I fucking love that guy. 
Oh, we got a whole pile of chatters in here. Okay. I need to catch up so I can actually do a show. My show is nothing without uh, without the chatters. Freewheeling Franklin. Hey, guys, if, if someone can tell me, if another moderator can tell me that Freewheeling Franklin is cool, then Freewheeling Franklin, who I've seen before, by the way, um, is going to become a moderator. Because that's how I... Oh, there's a B in here. That's ironic. All right, it's gone. That's good. I don't want to get stung. JB bro, you'll be fine. That's from Kev Chat. Coffee Girl says hello. Coffee Girl in the house. Coffee Girl, another chatter that's been with me since uh, almost day one of the Trump campaign in various channels. Hiya, Coffee. Hope you're doing okay. FLS360 says made it. Hi, Kev Chat, says Coffee Girl. Kev Chat, hello, Coffee. No, don't close the door on JB. No, he, he actually opened it. So now we have natural uh, sunlight. So you guys can see my ridiculous fucking need a haircut hair. So now you guys can see that probably better. J Dog has joined us. J Dog been with me for quite a while, probably about a year. Says JB, yes, I am here. J Dog says hi all. FLS says good morning all. <sighs> Coffee Girl says hello everyone. Yellow lighters. JB, who's your guest, LOL? I Well, I live in an apartment complex, so that's one of my ups. You know, we hover around. I mean, I'm not as popular as Blackie. Blackie has, Blackie Fitzpatrick has way taken me over, way taken me over. And rightfully so, uh, rightfully so, because his show is way better <laughs> than my show. <laughs> oh, shit, Blackie Fitzpatrick's in the house. At the no, 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 no. We, we need to address this issue right now. Blackie Fitzpatrick, are you a poltergeist? Because every time I mention your fucking name, you show up. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Every time I mention Blackie, and you see how happy I get because Blackie is like, as I say, I don't know how he feels, but as I say, I feel like he's my best friend on YouTube. But every time I mention Blackie Fitzpatrick's fucking name, he shows up without even letting him know that I'm, that I'm on. Pretty cool. <laughs> YouTube works in mysterious ways. Good to see you this morning, JB. Good to see you as well, FLS 360. Blackie Fitzpatrick says LOL. Poltergeist Fitzpatrick says LOL. Sorry, JB. Kev is getting... A bite to eat. Yeah, yeah, go get food. Jesus Christ. I don't even have anything real. I mean, I can just bitch about my personal life, but I don't really have anything to talk about right now. I don't care about numbers. I just like that you guys like to come here. I don't care about chat numbers. It doesn't matter to me at all. At all. I don't monetize, so it's... I'm not one of those folks. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with monetization. And now that we have a very substantial audience by my standards, um, or I should say by my record, why is there, <sighs> is this an omen? That's twice now, a B, JB, a B has come into the garage and it landed on my box of four mini wines. Weird, there's not even any flowers around. I mean, there are a hundred feet away, but not in the garage. Why are bees coming in? Is there a bee's nest? FLS says, howdy, Blackie. Messenger Mike has joined us and says, great, and you, J-Dog, J -Dog, nice, nice. We like that very much. At Messenger Mike, busy working two jobs, but all is well, friend. Hey, any time that you're at work working two jobs, three jobs, four jobs, you say to yourself this, you go to the, you know, the, the restroom and you look in the mirror and you go, guess what? I have employment and you need to get excited about that. You need to maintain excitement about that. Sorry, it's always awkward during the opening monologue. 
because I have to re, you know, everyone starts pouring in, you guys got comments, you got everything, and I want to, I don't want to leave anyone in the dust here. JB and folks, I got to go and cut the lawn. Good for you. My landlord has landscapers for us, so I haven't had to cut a lawn in many, many years. James Miller has joined us and says, you're so sweet. I don't know if he's talking to me. I can procrastinate and it will only get taller. Oh yeah, the grass, yes, yes. Just don't cut over the weed plants if you have any. You know, the, the, the good kind of weed. I can't fucking find any weed right now. Kind of a loner, kind of don't have any connections. Hey, at least I don't have to take court-ordered piss tests. So when I can find weed, I can smoke it. And smoke it I will. Out of my glass bong. Or maybe my pipe. Messenger Mike says, Dang, j Dog, my pal from Utah rolled, rolled in last night. 9.30 tea time, so I have to split. Sorry, JB, I'll be back. That's cool, Messenger Mike. I don't care. Like I said, I don't care about numbers. I just like who can come here and that you guys care enough to show up. I think it's great. I think it's great. Don't apologize for having to go live your life. You know what I mean? Blackie says, ciao for now, Messenger Mike. J-Dog is hitting a, uh, is teeing off. All right, so here was my question. Is yellow lighters friend or foe? And yellow lighters, stick around, stick around. Don't, don't, don't freak out. I just have to ask this. If anybody can independently verify that yellow lighters is cool, then yellow lighters is going to become one of our moderators. And if not, yellow lighters has to go because it's a moderator only stream. That's how I control things. I came up with a, with a pretty airtight system. So does anybody know Yellow Lighters, which is a great name, by the way? You know why? Boom. No, no, don't apologize, Yellow Lighters. I just rely on my moderators to independently verify names that I don't know so I can make sure that folks are cool. And if they're cool, then they become a moderator as well. That's my system. That's my system. Because I've been attacked by trolls like you wouldn't fucking believe over the last period of time that I've been doing this. Oh my God. A Cobra has joined us. Must have been to Blackies at JB. All right. Despite 14 watching, and I know YouTube lies, but despite 14 watching, no one can independently verify yellow lighters. I'm going to make an executive decision. As long as you're okay with it, yellow lighters, I'm going to make you a moderator. And if you fuck up, you're gone. I never saw that name. Okay, Blackie says I never saw that name. All right. Okay, that makes me a little nervous. And I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick at all, at all. It's just, I've been, I've been so targeted. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Rock me Amadeus, just smash the like button. Go ahead and do that if you guys want, folks. I don't ask for it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. My live stream is my live stream. I don't care about likes and all that stuff. But if you want to do it, go right ahead. Blackie says, what's up, all? Kev Chat says, what's up, Blackie? All right. I'm going to make an executive decision, okay? Yellow lighters. I've never done this before. I've never done this before. I'm going to do a live interview for my chat, and I'm going to have to trust someone's answer over the internet, having never met them in person or had coffee with them or a grilled cheese or anything. I'm going to interview Yellow Lighters right now, and we're going to decide if he's going to become a part of this stream. Yellow Lighters, do you accept this interview? I'm becoming more and more like Blackie's show. It's, it's, it's such a fucking joke. 
It's hilarious. I'm like turning into black, like a five foot three version of Blackie Fitzpatrick. Okay, yellow lighters. Number one, what chats do you like to frequent? I like JB. He's the only one intelligent enough to give me a wrench. No, Rock Me Out of Days has always been cool. He's been cool. Yellow Lighter, what chats do you like to frequent? I want names of chats. Gramps mostly. Very nice. Number two, since none of us know your name and we have 16 watching right now, why does nobody know your name? Did you used to go by another moniker? By another avatar, I should say? I had something in my tooth. I finally bought groceries yesterday and I ended up gorging ham and just cheese and like bread, which I guess you would call a sandwich, right? With mustard. It was good. Why does nobody know your name, Yellow Lighter? Lacey Panty Stain is banned. Goodbye. Goodbye. We don't do names like that. That's probably Novus. Maybe Packy. Goodbye. Instant ban. <clears throat> don't come into my channel with names like Lacey Panty Stain. That's disgusting. I usually lurk for fun, okay? Number three, if I make you a moderator, are you ever going to do anything to undermine my online presence? Go, go. Because once I place trust in you, you're off to the races, buddy. And I'm not washing, watching those stupid horse races, but I know they're very popular. So I'll use that terminology, off to the races. Only two subs, yellow lighters, have you been chatting long? Well, he has two subs, that's something. I worry about the ones that have zero subs. Subscribers is what subs means. I mean, I love subs. I love Italian subs. I love steak and cheese subs. I love... Chicken finger subs with lettuce, tomato, mayo. But in this context, subs means subscribers. And it's a great indicator. It's a great uh, kind of like instant vetting process indicator. But then again, you know, I don't want folks to not come to my channel just because they've only been on YouTube for a month or whatever. You know, a lot of people don't do this shit. A lot of people don't do this shit. And I fully understand that. I'm a very, very fair person. A Cobra, I don't chat much. Rock Me Amadeus, 58 subs here. Yeah, you've been around a while. No, I know, I know. I wonder who has more subs, Blackie Fitzpatrick or JB? <laughs> Not that I care, I just, it just popped into my head. I just, I, this head with all the weird hair. It just popped into my head, I just, I'm curious. I think Blackie's overtaken me. You know why? Because his product is better. <laughs> it's a better show. That's why I never go on against him. I'd rather watch Blackie Fitzpatrick. <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic show. It's hilarious. Sunil has joined us. 14 watching, 6 likes at my end, says the tally. Yeah, it's, it's fluctuating. It's fluctuating. I have 15 and 9. No, so if you guys are not subscribed to Blackie Fitzpatrick, you're missing out. It's a great show. I won't mention the name of his girlfriend. He can do that on his own. Um, you know, but she's become a part of the show and it's, hey, Blackie, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, what, what's, a, what's that cliche? What's that cliche? The whole is more important than the sum of its parts. When I, when I see your chick and, and she does what she does for your show with the comments in the background, 
it's fucking hilarious. It it really took it from here to here. I'm just telling you. You you know her name, obviously. You can tell her that. I think it's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> and frankly, I think it makes your show better, to be honest. You know, it's your show, but having that influence from the background, it just it drives me up a wall. It's awesome. So if you want, you can let her know that. And if you don't, don't. Rock Me Amadeus. I have no problem with people whoring on my channel. Rock Me Amadeus says, people into music, subscribe to me. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe to Rock Me Amadeus if you like music. I don't do music, so. I mean, I, I play, you know, guitar, I play drums, I sing, I can do freestyle rap. But I don't make it a part of my show. It's, it's a conspiracy show. But lately, it's become a personality management show. You know, I'm managing all you guys' personalities, and I'm also managing my own personality. But we'll get back to the conspiracies eventually. That I can tell you right now. I know you do, JB. Very nice. Free Will and Franklin is back. I don't need a wrench. Seldom have anything to say, but I'm harmless. Okay, that's cool. Just watch the show. That's fine. That's a very fine statement. I like that statement. I'm just paranoid because I got taken to a mental ward just because of a troll on my live stream. Can you believe that? They got my personal information. They said I was mentally unstable, and I had cops, and I had ambulance and I had everything and I had to spend a whole fucking wasted day in the hospital talking to the I told the story yesterday I tell it almost every day I guess I'll just tell it again so I end up on a hospital bed would you like some ginger ale would you like some crackers little buddy uh no I'm fine just get me out of here and then the nurse comes in who was like 10 years younger than me she was she's pretty hot she was a blonde she was pretty hot and she had to have me fill out this questionnaire. And I told her, I go, look, this is because somebody on the internet did this to me. And they somehow got my personal information and they totally fucked my life. I, I didn't use the F word, but I, I was very firm. Let's just say that. I was very firm. Probably in more ways than one. I was very firm. Get that joke, guys. And uh, so I have to sit there like a jerk. And then she gave me a questionnaire and then I talked to her and she goes, yeah, you're totally fine. What the hell? I go, I know what the hell. Someone on the internet fucking targeted me and somehow they got my personal information, which is why I will never give out my personal information <clears throat> on the internet ever again, ever again. And none of you should ever as well. But you guys are smarter than me, so you knew that. I did not. I did not. So eventually I caved in, eventually I caved in, and I started eating the stupid fucking saltines. No one likes saltines. What the hell are saltines? What's it, like a, a water wafer cracker or some shit with crap salt on it? Terrible. No salsa to dip it in. I should have said to the nurse, I should have said, hey, bitch, where's, where's my salsa or something? Cheese spread? Can I get some cheese spread? If you're going to try to give me the... Uh, I guess I'm going to chain smoke. God damn it. I probably should have asked for some cheese spread, but no, I got saltines. And I got plain saltines. And I got uh, ginger ale. I should have asked her for a beer. Can you imagine how much trouble I would have gotten in if I asked her for a beer or a glass of wine? And then I had to just answer, answer a simple questionnaire. When you have the down thoughts, and she goes, I know you're not suicidal. I know you're mentally stable. I know that you're fine. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. She goes, I know you're cool, but you have to answer this questionnaire in order to get out of here. I go, okay, give me the questionnaire. Give it to me right now. And I had to answer three questions. It was like, when you're feeling down, 
and thinking about harming yourself, this was the operative question. This was the operative question. When you're feeling down and thinking about harming yourself, what are three things that you can list right now that you like to do that uh, will distract you from those uh, black thoughts, basically? And when I say black thoughts, I mean dark thoughts. When I say black thoughts, is that racist? Hey, Hillary Clinton, is that racist? Hey, Maxine Waters. Hey, Elizabeth Warren, is that racist? When I say black thoughts? Just curious. Just curious. Okay. So I had to answer this fucking questionnaire. And <laughs> I, had to, I had to answer these three three things. I had, to, I had to write down. What are three things that you like to do that when you're having, you know, dark thoughts uh, that will prevent you from harming yourself or others? And I go, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm like, okay. All right, just go through the motions. Just go through the fucking motions. So I wrote down uh, fishing. I, w I was honest. I was honest on it. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. I was totally honest. So I answered the questionnaire, and I said, number one, fishing. Uh, number two, I like to play uh, frisbee football. And uh, number three, I like to stream on YouTube. <laughs> and she's like, okay, those are sufficient answers. I go, thank you very much. When can I leave? And then she goes out. I'm pissing away viewers right now. 13 watching. We were up at 24. Now we're down to 13. Shit. Not doing a good show. You know what it's got to be? It's I got to get my hair cut. I look like, I look like hell. I got to cut all my hair off and I got to shave my friggin' face because I don't look good with a beard. Look at this thing. What do they call this? A quaff? Is that what it's called? A quaff? All right. So that's like a term from the 50s. <clears throat> so I get out of the hospital. I go back home. Everything is normal. Everything is totally normal. And whoever that bitch was on the internet, the person who called that false threat upon me, that false situation upon me, I should say, that false situation upon me, guess what? The police have your phone number and the police have your IP address. So if anything close to that ever happens to me again, you're gonna go to fucking prison. I rarely try to get dead serious on my live stream. You're going to go to fucking prison because that was a false claim that resulted in lost time and hardship on my part and also cost me money. You're going to go to fucking prison. Okay. So now that we're done with that, let's get back to the show. See who's in the chat. The chat's exploding right now. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's scan back here. I know I look like shit. I promise I'll do a stream later before or after Blackie's show. Blackie's still here. Favorite songs. A Cobra says F food fighters. <laughs> That's obviously a joke. Fighting the foo <laughs> says Raging Cajun. Rock Me Amadeus says, Foo Fighters are awesome. Yes, they are. One of my favorite bands. You know why? Because one of my, uh, I don't believe in idols. I don't believe in idols. I don't believe in worshiping another human being, except for Jesus Christ. And that's, you know, my personal, you know, that's my personal thing. I don't believe in worshiping other human beings, except for the Son of God, Jesus Christ. But I do look up to, let's use that terminology. Let's use that terminology. I do look up to uh, Dave Grohl. You know, one of his presumably best friends, Kurt Cobain, and this is why I was talking about idols, was my idol growing up. If Kurt Cobain did not exist for the short time that he was alive, uh, JB would probably not have ever picked up a guitar, ever. 
and I certainly wouldn't have learned how to play drums, and I certainly would not have learned how to sing. I'm pissing away viewers. We'll get them back. We'll get them back. At all. At all. Not even close. If Kurt Cobain didn't exist, there would be no Dave Grohl, in my opinion. And there certainly wouldn't have been JB. And I've played shows in front of 5,000 people. I toured with a band called Finger Eleven. Anybody know Finger Eleven? Press one. Not a lot of people do. They're a great band. Press one if you know the band Finger Eleven. They're fantastic. I drank Red Bull and beer with them when I was 19 when I opened for them a couple times down in Connecticut. Rock Me Amadeus says, what about Taylor Hawkins? I have no idea who that is. Rock Me Amadeus says, one. A Cobra says, two. Yeah, if, if you don't know Finger Eleven, look into the band Finger Eleven. I'm telling you. If you don't know them, you're really missing out. They're from Canada. They're from Canada. I opened for them twice in front of 5,000 fucking people. Yellow Lighters says one short lived. Yeah, they weren't they weren't popular for that long, but their older stuff is never gonna leave my musical uh, listening arsenal. It's never gonna leave. By the, <laughs> I just want to keep asking you guys questions because I got a good crew right now. Taylor Hawkins. Oh yeah 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 yeah. God, God, I'm such a dickhead. Taylor Hawkins, that blonde-haired fucking Foo Fighters drummer. Yes, I'm familiar with him. Yes. I needed you more. I wanted much less. Don't let the days go by glycerin. I liked Bush. I was a fan of Bush. Not the president, but the band. I was a fan of Bush. Yes. My favorites, I, I always liked their hits. I, I, I had their record, remember records, or CDs, I guess we call them now. I had all their CDs, and I liked Bush, I liked Gavin Rosdale. I forgot the name Taylor Hawkins, the name of the drummer, but... Uh, Rock Me Amadeus helped me out with that one. Um, great drummer, fantastic. You know, I loved all that stuff, all the 90s music, Smashing Pumpkins, fucking Metallica has, Metallica has been big since the 80s and through the 90s and through the 2000s. I love Metallica. I like a lot of female artists too, believe it or not. I bet with 11 watching and 10 likes, I bet if I ask you who my favorite female artist is you're not going to be able to answer but i want to see what you guys would guess and when you do guess on the chat i'll tell you if i like them as well you're not going to be able to guess who my favorite female artist is who has actually influenced me musically that's why she's one of my favorite i gave her that right having never met her never fucked her never any of that no, not Celine Dion. No, not Lita Ford. This is going to be fun. I like this. I like this. This is good stuff. This is fantastic. One of my favorite songs is Ironic by Alanis Morissette. Yes. I would probably put Alanis Morissette in terms of my favorites. You're not, you guys aren't going to get it. You're not going to get it. Blondie, no. Blondie, no. Dolly Parton, no. I've, I don't think I've ever heard a Dolly Parton song. Unless I heard it and didn't realize it was Dolly Parton. Barbara Streisand? No. Barbara Streisand can fuck herself because she was a big time anti-Trumper. Barbara Streisand can fuck herself. And plus, I've never heard her music and I don't care. Taylor Momsen? No. No, you're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. If somebody gets it, if somebody gets it, I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm unemployed right now. I, uh, 
I almost wanted to say I would mail you a check for like a thousand bucks. No one's gonna get it. No one's gonna get it. This is fun. I like this game. Hey, Blackie, take notes. Hey, Blackie, take notes. Check this shit out. Chat's blowing up. Nope. Not Ann Wilson. Not Hart. I love Stevie Nicks. If you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying you will never break the, never break the chain. I love Fleetwood Mac, but nope, it's not Stevie Nicks. She's probably 20 years younger than her. Not Joan Jett. No, I'll help you guys out. She's, she's in my age group. She can't be older than 35. I'll help you guys out. <laughs> Raging Cajun says Sarah Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Absolutely. She's she's old enough. But no, she's not my favorite female musician. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Britney Spears, no. Absolutely. She's she's old enough. But no, she's not my favorite female musician. You Nicki Minaj, absolutely not. Nicki Minaj disgusts me. Colby Kalai, even closer. I love Colby Kalai. Avril Lavigne, also close. Oh my God, you guys are getting so close. This is fun. No, 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 I'm just telling you, this is fun. I've never done a show like this before. I've never done a live show like this before. Avril Lavigne, close but new. Lady Gaga, close but no. I love Lady Gaga. Everybody hates Lady Gaga, and she's into all the Satanism and all that Madonna shit. I like Lady Gaga's music, but it's not her. Ashley Simpson, she only had one hit. How can a, uh, what was that Ashley Simpson song? Oh, feels like I can finally rest my head on something real. I like the way it feels. No, it's not Ashley Simpson. Madonna, no. You you guys are not going to get it. You're not going to get it. She's very popular, but you guys are not going to get it. Katy Perry, I like Katy Perry, but the answer is no. This is fun. Yes, there are plenty of female singers left. You guys just don't know her name, despite how popular she is. Orange Knight says JB. Wow, talk about spontaneously coming up with content for a live stream. This is a fucking gold mine. Oh, man. You guys are not going to get it. All right, how about this? I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a little hand, okay? Joy Stewart has joined us. What's up, Joy Stewart? Nope, it's not Katy Perry. Evanescence, I love Amy Lee. Blackie Fitzpatrick says moo. Was listening to Madonna earlier this morning. Pat Benatar? Nope. Like I said, she's under 35. Oh, you guys are never going to get it. Should I keep this going or should I just tell you guys? I think this is hilarious. I think it's fun. I think it's fun as fuck. And by the way, all the musicians that you guys have mentioned, all the female musicians, if I see somebody come up with the Lindsey Sterling, close, but no. Taylor Swift, no. No, I'm, I'm actually not. Oh, I just got the hiccups there. Not really a fan of Taylor Swift stuff. I find it very bland. I find it very, very bland. You guys are not going to get this. And I know I'm being a little bit unfair right now, but this it's just too much fun because you guys are all guessing. The numbers keep going up and you guys keep guessing. It's too much fun. I can't stop. Pink, no, although I respect her. I don't, I would never buy a pink record or iTunes, but she's a real musician and I respect her. Selena, no. Rock Me Amadeus meant no doubt, which subsequently means Gwen Stefani. 
I would put Gwen Stefani at number two. Ragin says, hey, Joy. Kitty Wells, I don't even know who that is. I literally don't even know who that is. You guys aren't going to get it. You're not going to get it. No, I would put Gwen Stefani at number two, though. She's probably my favorite, uh, my favorite rock band singer. And the answer is not Tori Amos, but I cannot believe any of you fuckers have not typed Tori Amos. Who doesn't love Tori Amos? Jesus Christ. I mean, that's not the answer, but I, I can't believe you guys have never typed it. Gloria Estefan, no. Lacey Schabert, no. See, I was close. Yeah, Rock Me's getting damn close. I think one of you guys is going to get it. Oh, my God. Amy Winehouse, I would put her third. I would put her third. R.I.P. Amy Winehouse. Oh, I just got emotional. Ah, why did someone have to fucking say Amy Winehouse? What a waste of talent. Did she commit suicide or, or was it booze or drugs or the hell? I, I forget. Ah, oh, what a talent. Ah, I just got emotional. I get emotional like a bitch. I'm, you know, when I say that, I'm not degradating women. I, you know, like a bitch, like when... Like Blackie Fitzpatrick would call me a, if we're hanging out on the couch and he punches my arm and calls me a bitch. You know, that's what I mean by bitch. But what a bitch I'm being. Oh, I just got emotional when I saw the name Amy Winehouse. What a fucking waste. What a disgrace. Ugh. Damn it can't even do my show right now just 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 may i you know you guys are here you're unpaid moderators you're watching me you know i don't pay you to be here just give me a second oh when i think about the loss of amy winehouse oh god you know to to me, someone like Amy Winehouse, it's almost like if Albert Einstein, you know, died at uh, at age like 22 or something. It's like, what a fucking waste. God damn it. I think it was drugs. I don't think it was booze. I think she, she was a heroin addict or something. Nope, not Patsy Cline. Chrissy Hind, I don't know who that is. Christina, A Christina Aguilera. I feel like I've been locked up tight for a century of lonely nights waiting for someone to release me. I love that song. But I never followed her body of work. I never followed her body of work. Sade, I don't know who that is. Loved Patsy. Chrissy Hine, The Pretenders. I never got into The Pretenders. You guys are never going to get who my favorite artist is. As popular as she is, no one knows her. But once I say the name, you're going to be like, no shit. <laughs> My favorite female artist. That's the topic right now. Numbers going back up and watching, going back up into the double digits. That's good. We like that. James Miller says, you don't know the pretenders? No, I don't. I was born in 1984. I just never got into the Pretenders. I'm sure I know some of their songs. I'm sure I know some of their songs that have been on corporate radio, etc. But no, I don't own a single Pretenders record. No. All right, should I just tell you guys, or is this going to, guys and girls, should I just tell you who my favorite female artist is, or is it more fun to keep guessing? I like this format. I think this format for a show is fantastic. It's fantastic and it's hilarious. And also, we're exposing a bunch of, uh, you know, very prominent female uh, vocalist slash songwriters. I think it's great. I haven't heard a lot of these names in a long time. All right, I'm, I'm going to torture you guys for five more minutes. 
Let's see if you can get it. I dare you. I dare you. Nope, it's not the pretenders. Honestly, I... My streams are usually pretty depressing because I cover conspiracies. I'm actually having fun. I haven't had fun on a live stream in a long fucking time. And this is fun. Shakira, very close. Whenever, wherever, we're meant to be together. I'll be there and you'll be near. And that's the deal, my dear. Nope, Shakira is very hot. I want to bang Shakira in the butt. I will say that right now, um, but it's not Shakira. Although I like Shakira and she's very good. She's very good. Beyonce, no, fuck Beyonce. She's Illuminati. Her and Jay-Z, fuck them. Janet Jackson, no, her music to me was terrible. Rihanna, I like, um, I like Rihanna's, uh, when the sun shines, we'll shine together. Know that we'll be here forever. Blah, 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 and saying, damn, we're on and stick it out to the end. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. Yeah, it's a good song. It's a good song. But no, it's not Rihanna. It's not Rihanna. Rock Me Amadeus says she was a good performer. I'll have to check it out. Oh, you guys are, you're never gonna get it. You're never gonna get it. Because even though as popular as she is, not a lot of folks know about her. But it's not um, Mia. What, does she have that airplane song? I get high like planes and it catch me in the morning. You know, I know the song, but no, it's not Mia. No, this, this woman has a full body of work. Mia was a one hit wonder. Not that there's anything wrong with one hit wonders. In fact, I hope Ben Arslan is not going to become a one hit wonder. That song is so fucking catchy, computer. I hope he can follow up and then follow up and then follow up again. And I think he will. I think he will. Candy, Candy Dulfer? I don't know who that is. Duffy? I don't know who that is. You guys are throwing one-hit wonders at me. This person's a little more under the radar. Should I just tell you or is this fun? Do you want to keep going? Do you want to keep guessing? Because I don't care, you know, I don't, I don't care. You, this is your show, it's a chat show. You know, it's just my face that you listen to apparently. I don't know what Bjorg is. Candy Dulfer is the greatest saxophonist ever. I don't know anything about saxophone, so I can't comment on it. I only comment on stuff I know about. And I don't, I don't know shit about saxophone at all, at all. Other than I was in a marching band, but I played snare drum. I was in the drum corps. And all I knew was that my saxophone players were fantastic. That's all I know. That's all I know about saxophone. All right, I'm just gonna help move this show along. 16 watching, 15 watching, 10 likes, 54 minutes in. So here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you guys keep fucking struggling in the weeds, assuming you wanna hang out. And if you don't, that's totally fine. You know, we all have free will. 14 watching, lost a viewer. Uh, we're at 54. We're almost at 55 minutes. I'll give it, I will reveal my favorite female artist at the 60 minute mark, if you guys don't get it. 
if you guys and girls don't get it. If you don't get her. You see that about Murphy Brown trying to return? I don't know who Murphy Brown is, but I hope that person returns. You know, we never want to lose musicians. A Cobra says, for fuck's sake, just tell us. Let's give it five more minutes. I think someone might get it. I think someone might get it. This is a great format for a chat show. I never thought of this. I never thought of this. It just came out of nowhere. It just totally came out of nowhere. And then I'm going to shave. I'm going to go, because I don't have a car right now. I'm going to go uh, take a cab and uh, cut off all my hair because I look like fucking hell. I mean, look at this shit. I think Rescue Pets have re Rescue Pets Rule has rejoined us. What's up, Rescue Pets? Rescue Pets has joined us. Blackie Fitzpatrick is probably sitting. Maybe he's on a couch. Maybe he's standing in the kitchen with the walrus biting his ear or something. Maybe maybe that's going on. You know. And maybe he's, because it's, you know, evening over there. So maybe he's mixing up a fucking nice martini or something. Blackie Fitzpatrick must be laughing his fucking balls off at this stream. I've created, I have, I, I never thought of this. I never thought of this before. I'm going to give myself some credit. Alanis Morissette. No, like I said, I put her at number three. I love Alanis Morissette. It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride, but you've already paid. It's the good advice that you just didn't take. And who would have thought it figures? I love Alanis Morissette, but the answer is no. It's not her. It's not my favorite female musician. No one's going to get her. No one's going to get it. Sarah Bareilles. She's fr oh, 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 I just, I just had a, I just had the big O. Freedom Franklin is close. She's best friends with Sarah Bareilles. Best friends with Sarah Bareilles. Very nice. Uh, no, it's not <laughs> female singer Elton John. <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> female singer Elton John. That's funny. Who said that? Hold on a second. That was funny. Raging Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite female singer, Elton John. <laughs> Fucking Elton John. I, I never liked Elton John's music either. I, I It just never appealed to me. But, uh... Hold on a second. Someone was so close. Miley Syphilis. You spelt it wrong, but I know what you were trying to do. <laughs> uh, Freewheeling Franklin says Sarah Bareilles she's best friends with Sarah Bareilles nope not Myra Cyrus <laughs> that was, that's still funny I, I can't I can't get over it it's still funny <laughs> best female singer Elton John. <laughs> Fucking Elton John. <laughs> that was, that's, it, regardless if anyone guesses it, that's the funniest comment of the chat. That's hilarious. <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> Best female singer. I mean, I, 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 I don't know a lot about Elton John. I, I never learned about his music, but I do know that he liked the dick, apparently, right? So, and there's nothing wrong with gay. I don't care about 
gay, lesbian. I don't care about that stuff. But <laughs> that was a very... That comment was not only hilarious, but it was also perfectly timed. Elton John, best female singer. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. See, that's why we stream on YouTube. That's why we do this. My life is shit right now. I'm going through horrible, horrible circumstances. 60% of them self-created, 40% of them external circumstances. And then I get to go on YouTube Live and I get to see a comment like that. And I get to actually just sit and laugh in a life of total depression and total horribleness. I get to see a comment like that and laugh my fucking balls off. Or if I was a girl, laugh my fucking tits off. <laughs> it was really funny. Elton John. <laughs> that was very funny. Jimmy Cricket. No. Ah, Orange Knight comes up with a good one. Jewel. I love Jewel, but the answer is no. All right, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to fucking say it. Hold on a second. I want to see where we're at. Okay, we're over the 60-minute mark. JB's. Hold on. Let me. Let me uh, process this appropriately. Let me get my insane hair that I need to get cut and my stupid fucking unintentional beard that I have to shave off before uh, my next live stream. And when I get my hair cut, it's going to be like way short. Way short. I might even. I might even get a buzz cut. I don't know. My favorite singer, female. My favorite, JB's, favorite female musician, singer songwriter, is here it comes is Ingrid Michelson. Nobody knows her. Beats me. Good. Good. Yellow Lighter says, never would have guessed. Free Wheelin' Franklin says, no. Me either. Yeah, no one knows her. Ingrid Michelson. That's my, fam that's my favorite uh, female composer, musician, artist. She plays typically ukulele and guitar, writes all of her own music, Directs her drummer, directs her bass player, directs her backing musicians. Ingrid Michelson. Blackie Fitzpatrick says cluck cluck. I don't know what the fuck that means. Blackie, what the fuck are you talking about? Or I, should I say what the cluck are you talking about? Yeah, so all you guys need to do... And I have to go up, I, I'm going to try to suck down a smoke real quick before my phone dies, and I'll plug it in. I'll try to keep the show going. You know, I, I just kind of want to keep it going, but. Whether you want to leave my show or open up another window, like a separate window, because I know a lot of you guys are on computers, you can open up multiple windows. Go on YouTube and type in the song Far Away by Ingrid Michelson. Type in the song Far Away by Ingrid, I-N-G-R-I-D, Michelson. And the song is called Far Away. And you listen to that song. And you listen to that song. And you listen to that song. And what that song encompasses for me, and I've heard every single song she's ever made, obviously, 
you know, I built this up for an hour, so I got to deliver, right? I got to deliver. Of course, I got to deliver. So you, you listen to that, that one song as an entry-level Ingrid Michaelson fan, which is what you're going to become, which is what you're going to become. You listen to that song. And then if you have any other questions in the future, oh, hey, I have four more mini wines. Look at that. Wow, what a surprise. I'm going to go back and get some more beer later. They don't care if I do a two a day down at the street. They know me very well. And then Ingrid got a little bit corporate and she got really big with her song, um, Girls Chase Boys was her big corporate hit. That was her big corporate hit. She had other hits before, but her big corporate hit was called Girls Chase Boys, Ingrid Michaelson. She's awesome. She's awesome. And a lot of folks are probably going to be surprised by my answer. They're going to be surprised by the answer that I gave. I don't care. Because I've heard every single song she's ever written. Every single fucking song she's ever written. And by the way, when I put Alanis Morissette at three, and when I put someone else at number two, my actual number two would be Haley Williams from the band Paramore. From the band Paramore. Haley Williams from the band Paramore. All right. And with that, I will take, uh, I'll try not to let the phone die. Oh, did Blackie just post a link to Ingrid Michaelson? You guys are too kind, man. You're unpaid. I'm not paying you to do this. You guys are too kind. Blackie is way too kind. Is that a link to a uh, far away by Ingrid Michaelson, Blackie? My unpaid friend who helps me out on my stream. I'm not crying. I got smoke in my eyes. Ugh. Smoke in your eyes sucks. Hurts. Very nice. So Blackie Fitzpatrick has posted for us for free. He's unpaid. He just helps out my channel. You know, like I try to help out his. But he just posted those links. So you got to click on those songs and listen to those songs. And I hope you come back and you're like, JB, that music sucks. Good. Not everyone likes the same shit. Okay? I don't like veal pate, you know? I like my steak medium. I don't like it rare. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of eggplant in the world. So not everyone's going to like everything. But if you guys like good music, I'm telling you, click on those links that Blackie Fitzpatrick has provided, unpaid, for free. I want to make a hashtag. Blackie is not a lackey. Blackie just helps me out because we're friends over the internet. So you click on those links and listen to those songs. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to buy their friggin' records, whether it's over iTunes, whether you go buy the CD, Whatever it is, I'm telling you, most of you are going to buy it. Because you're going to say to yourselves in your internal voice, you're going to say self. And yourself is going to answer yes. And you're going to say to yourself, damn, this song is really good. Maybe I should look into further of this. Uh you know, artists' um, repertoire, as it were. And 
then we'll cut that in half and the half of the half of you guys are actually going to go buy the fucking record or download it. She's great. She's great. That's my favorite female artist, Ingrid Michelson. I did a whole shot. Uh, I did a whole hour show built around the fact that you guys wanted to hear or learn, I should say, what JB's favorite female musician is. And my answer is Ingrid Michelson. And her friend Sarah Bareilles is awesome. Sarah Bareilles fucking rules. I love her. All right, let's go take a walk upstairs and plug in the phone. And we'll try to keep this fucking show going on for maybe another eh, 20 minutes-ish. Then I have to go do stuff. We're going to close the garage, okay? We're going to close the garage. I mean, how great, as much as I... As much as I'm sucking the uh, tits of uh, Sarah Bareilles, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ingrid Michaelson. How great is Sarah Bareilles? She's fucking awesome. How do you write choruses like that? I'm a musician. Blackie's a musician. I we're going through a dark stairway. Just hold on a second. It's okay. Don't freak out. I just don't want to trip. So I take my time. So I take my time. You know, so it's it's just one of those things. I, I think I'm gonna go get my Trump hat. Cause I I don't I don't wanna lay in my fucking bed and do a live stream. I'd rather do it from the couch. So let's get the charger, which is in a very awkward position. Got my mug hat. Stepping on beer bottles because my room is a disaster, which is my big. So we're going to plug in the battery. Damn it. This new uh, self-charging case. Yeah, give me a friggin' break. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Don't spend the money. If you have an iPhone, don't spend the money on the quote unquote self-charging case. It's it's a fucking fraud. Hi Katana. Meow. You guys can hear the cat, I'm sure. All right. So I'm back. I know you guys can hear that. Hi Katana. She she always does that. She has plenty of food, plenty of water, everything. Do you have a Trump t-shirt too, JB? Yes. That's from Exodus. Exodus has joined us. What's up, Exo? <coughs> yes, I have a Trump t-shirt as well, but it's a custom-made t-shirt. I got it made the way that I wanted it made. But it's in a pile of uh, a pile of laundry. Thirteen watching, thirteen likes, seventy five minutes in. Okay. But yes, I do have a. Uh... <coughs> I 
I do have a uh, Trump t-shirt, but it's in my pile of fucking laundry that I have to fucking do. And I don't want to fucking do it, but I'm going to have to. I have no choice. Bandits is very good. RMA says, this is my best acoustic guitar singing video I ever made. I made it last week and there's a link. I'll, I'll have to watch it one way or another after the stream is done because if I click it, the stream ends and I'm not done yet. Or I should say I'm not finished yet. Bandit says later. Rescue Pet says, what the fuck did your cat say? The cat said, hi, 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 over and over and over again. Again, it's not my cat. It's my, you know, it's my roommate's cat. She's got plenty of food. She's got plenty of water. She's just meowing. It's really good, JB, and there's the link. I know, but once I click it, the stream ends, and I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Now, <laughs> hey Katana, why don't you? She's she's a very personable cat. Hey Katana, why don't you come in here and say hello to the YouTube stream? I think that's great. Well, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. I think YouTube wants to meet Katana. Nah, she's probably going to go pass out. I really like all of the... Uh... We, uh, I, you know... Let's, let's leave that alone. Let's leave that alone. Oh, there's Katana. Come here. Meow. Meow. All right, so I got to give, uh, I just, that, the reason for the break was uh, I got a call from the roommate, and I have to give the cat a, uh, a medical treat. Um, she's getting a little bit old, and you know, whatever it is. So I'll be right back, all right? No, you gotta eat it. Eat it. It tastes like fish and chicken. Eat it. She'll eat it. Rock me Amadeus says I'm wearing uh I the uh the uh the the chat is moving so fast I can't keep up with everyone. Exodus says, is your roommate a cool person? Yes, a lot cooler than me. I'm the prick in the relationship. He's a very, very, very nice person. I just don't talk about a lot on YouTube because that's not fair. Because I believe in maintaining consent and, you know, stuff like that. Exodus asks, uh, does come as you are come from Nirvana, JB? Yes. The answer is yes. 
I've never streamed for 80 minutes before, as far as I know. Rock Me says, I'm wearing a black fedora, dark sunglasses, and a funky purple tie in my new saxophone video. I am dressed like one of the Blues Brothers. Very nice. I will be watch. Borat JB will be watch. Orange Knight says, rescue what's Sadie up to. Rock Me Amadeus. It's going to be called Johnny Boone Baker Street Cover. Very nice. I would watch. Exodus says, ah. Stephanie Medina says, B, you were nice too. Uh, thank you. In a way, I'd like to agree with Stephanie. Okay, done with food. I had to wash hands. Orange. Sadie is pouting because she didn't get a pork chop. I don't know what that means. Rescue with a sad face. Rescue. The pork chops were one and a half inches thick. Boneless after cooking. So moist. We well, yeah, dried pork chops are terrible. Orange says, nice. Exodus says, that's a great Nirvana song. Yes, it is. Hold on, let me do something for Exodus real quick. Sadie is my dog, JB. Nice, rescue pets. Johnny Moon, African. Balafon Funk. I don't know what that is. Let me do something for Exodus real quick. Hold on a second. Why is my phone being such a cunt? This is so stupid. I used to be able to turn it sideways. Okay, I can turn it reverse. What the fuck? I can't turn it sideways. Bullshit. Oh, well. Sometimes you have to deal with bullshit. Believe it or not, I know that now more than ever. How do you do it? Gotta get the rhythm down. Ah, almost there. Ah, I'm 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 actually a great guitar player. I I just haven't practiced. Haven't practiced. Going through a lot of shit. That's good enough. That's for the XO. And I'm going to cut soon because I'm not really doing a good show right now. That I can tell you right now.
Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a trend, as a friend, as an old memory in your memory in your memory in your memory in your come doused in blood soaked in bleach as i want you to be as a friend as a friend as an old enemy you know i know the song very well and exodus reminded me of the song so i just wanted to kind of kind of do that maybe a good awkward way good awkward way to end the song uh, to end the stream Bad kimchi and bad kimchi in Tornado Alley today. Well, if you're in Tornado Alley, kimchi is the last thing you should be worrying about. You should be worrying about being in your freaking basement if you have one, or hopefully a tornado shelter. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm going to go get some uh, leftovers. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm fucking starving. Haven't been eating a lot these days. That's why I look so slim and trim, guys. Hey, for anybody who has weight issues, for anybody who has weight issues, no, no, I just want to say this right now. For anybody who has weight issues and you're like, oh, I'm too fat that i need to lose 15 pounds i need to lose 50 pounds i need to lose five pounds whatever it is whatever it is uh i have a li <laughs> and this is <laughs> this is obviously sarcastic okay this is obviously sarcastic okay this is obviously sarcastic my recommendation if you have trouble with your weight uh, rear end somebody in an OUI accident. Okay. So <laughs> this is all sarcasm. This is all sarcasm. It's all true, but it's all sarcasm. Okay. Rear end somebody in a uh, DUI accident. Uh, get arrested. Get a court date become totally depressed because you know that you made a big fucking mistake because you know that you made a big fucking mistake because you know that you made a big fucking mistake okay and then have one meal every uh three days i pr because you can't eat because you're too depressed i promise you i promise you you will lose weight. <laughs> That's JB's diet plan. <laughs> Again, the whole thing is a joke. It's all sarcastic. It's all sarcasm. It's all a joke. It's all sarcasm. But I promise you, you will lose weight. Even my fucking roommate said, he's like, you look like you're wasting away. I'm, he's like, when's the last time you ate? I was like, uh, four days ago. <laughs> it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? It works. All right. But I need some food right now, so I'm going to go get some. And then I'm going to shut the fuck. I'm going to, I'll watch you guys chat for five more minutes while I'm eating some food. I will not open my mouth except to put food into it. And uh, then maybe I'll go to Gramps. Maybe I'll go to Jujubot if she's on. Maybe I'll go to MMP Cody if he's doing live music. I don't know. <gasps> um, but I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> 